Hello, my name uh, is Jay Mouton, and the following poems are from my collection, I Was, and other poems. I Was, Veni, Vidi, Visi, the victorious Caesar proclaimed. But what of you and your victories, dear sister? Of those that loved you and carry memories of you with them everywhere they go, like history lessons? on love and life and laughter and tears and joy and sadness and hope. Each lesson impressed by you, each day a sweet pilgrimage, but still, dear sister, what of you? You leaving us in the 50th year of your reign, now in repose, please, please proclaim, if only in a whisper, non sum qualis eram, Still, I was, I was. Garden of Stone. She's out there now, a flower, a lifetime lived and ended too soon, too suddenly. She rests now, 50 years of blossom and bloom ended too soon, too swiftly. She still, now, she sleeps, her bed, under sod and stoned, too soon, too eternal. She's home now, to blossom, to bloom again, in her garden of stone, too beautiful, too beautiful. You, so like the snowflakes. When you cross my mind, I think about snowflakes and about the billions and billions of those crystallized molecules of hydrogen and oxygen flying through billions upon billions of countless timeless miles of atmosphere and how billions and billions and billions of snowflakes will find in no sibling or progeny a twin, no solitary single flake exactly alike. And I think this cannot be true. Then I see your face, and I know it is true. The Kiss It was a starry night, and she was full ripe like a midsummer strawberry, her lips pursed and pretty, and in the span of a moment I recalled a poet telling me all the events of life, mundane to magnificent, are nothing more in simple twists of fate. And in the spiral of my moment, I marveled at the possibilities of the random nature of events, like births and hope and laughter and tears and joy and love and love. And I, enthralled by my youth and by nature and by her and love and the moon and the stars and fate, leaned over and kissed her. When the poet has a bad day. When the poet has a bad day, the sun does not kiss, it burns. The birds do not sing, they shit on the car. The sky is not aqua blue, nor is it fresh as an Irish spring. It is small, thick, gray pasty, and smells like burning toenails. The sound of his lover's voice is not like music from on high. It is phlegm-coated and bitching about the backed-up toilet. Breakfast is not a movable feast. It is a stale Egg McMuffin. Noon does not pinnacle the sun at its zenith. It means the fucking day is halfway fucking over. Driving home from work, the poet does not ride a stallion, nostrils flaring. Rather, he's death-trapped in a beat-up, fucked-up, broken-down, expired, tagged pinto. The poet is not greeted at the gates of Xanadu by a damsel of desire. Nope, just a scribbled note. Fuck you and goodbye, asshole. On the refrigerator door, under a broken magnet that spells L-O. But opening the door, peering inside, filled with both apprehension and hope, the poet finds, on a rusted and crusted shelf, like a vigilant Gunga Din, lonely in its sentinel, a long, 
cold bottle of beer. Ah, nirvana. One day. One day when I was five, I walked down the road in front of my home. So far I could not see my house. It had disappeared. One day, a few years later, I walked down the road in front of my home. So far, I could not see my town. It had disappeared. One day when I was 17, I left my home state in a plane. So far, I could not see the earth. It had disappeared. One day, I don't recall how old I was. I left the world behind me for good. So far, so far away, I could not see my life for I had disappeared. I thought of your birthmark. I thought of your birthmark and how it made you different from anybody else and how you would run the tip of the little finger of your left hand across the agate smooth bottom of a button on your blouse and how when you would cry your tears wouldn't fall until they were raindrop heavy, and how when you smiled, your birthmark was hidden in the dimple on your left cheek, and it always made me think how different you were, like the contours of a fingerprint or a snowflake just before it dies from its proximity to the intense heat of life. The poems I've just read are from my collection I was and other poems, and my name is Jay Mouton. Thank you.